Hey guys, it's Gunny Cutie here again. All the twists are out and it is currently like 11 something in the morning um, of Wednesday. This video is going to be about how to detangle your hair after you take out twist or weave or braid or anything. I'm just going to detangle my hair and um, I'm going to do that before I, I have a spray bottle here. Um, I put water in here I put some oils and I put a lot of conditioner that's why it's not clear it's just conditioner um I prefer to use filtered water as to tap water because it depends depending on your region on the region where you stay your tap water might have some fluoride in it and stuff like that so just to be on the safe side I just like my water filtered I don't want any oops or anything I don't know how water tap water affects my hair but I know there are some impurities in there and I'm not I'm not taking chances so you need a bottle you need one of these butterfly clips to section off your hair and you need a white tooth comb like this just need a white tooth comb like this and for the shampooing part I use Paul Mitchell um, I discovered Paul Mitchell last summer and I bought this bottle in like, I think I bought this bottle in June and I still have them and it's pretty much a good amount left in there. So that's all you need. So I'm going to start the process of detangling my hair. I put my hair into sections while I was taking the twist out so I don't have to deal with detang like trying to comb through and everything. So. Oh, before you start, you might want to take off your earrings first. So, this is how I have my hair. And I'm going to take out this side. And I'll show you guys. Aren't you guys excited for me? I'm so happy. Like, I didn't think my hair would be this, have this much length to it after I took the twist out. Because I did have the twist in there for a while. It's kind of scared of my hair getting damaged, to be honest. So these were ready to come out. So you take a section like this, run your fingers through it. I still have hair falling out. You take the spray bottle and you just spray. And this allows the comb to easily slide through your hair and no losing any knots from lint or anything that might be still in your hair so run your fingers through it try to separate it just try to get it really really down and just start you comb your comb has to be white tooth. You don't want to yank out your hair with a small tooth comb. And you start combing from the, from the tips down to your root. And if you need some more, my shade now, just spray some more. Run it through. Take your comb. I think I need to separate it. Get some in there. Separate it. And get some in there. And just let it sit. And you just comb it. That's all. I think I have a nut in here. So that's it. And then you just, I think, yeah, I'll just do this. And I use the clip to hold it down. So now I move on to the next section. I 
section is done, loose air. And I'll be back to show you guys how I'm going to go and shampoo my hair. This is my hair. This is the whole thing. And I'm about to jump in the shower and wash. Um, when I'm washing, I'm going to take banana clips and clip each section and just wash one section and then clip it, wash one section and clip it because I don't want to detangle after I finish washing. But yeah, guys, this is my hair. I think it's the first time I'm showing my hair on YouTube, but yep, that's the length. Yeah. So this is the length. And this is the back. This is the back. 